this is Jan. Welcome to another video. Today we're doing another uh, discussion video. This one's a little bit different because I want to discuss something that was discussed today in a stream. Not my stream. Um, I just wanted to well, do, a, do a last life discussion as you can see from the title of this video. Um, yeah, I like I watched Impulse's stream about it a few hours ago about whether or not it was scripted. Like, I heard him out, like, I do believe him that it wasn't scripted, and I wanted to add to it with my own evidence, and with using the evidence that people use to accuse it being scripted, but I wanted to put a little perspective on it. So, yeah, based on the last life and a few of the stuff that may or may not have been fair and whether or not it was actually scripted. I believe them. I believe everybody in the server that it is not scripted. It's all improv. Because, yeah. <laughs> you can't make these things up. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I am repeating myself. All right. Sorry if you um, noticed I look a little bit different and I'm in a different place. And I get a little pin here. <laughs> yeah. Basically, we should get right into the video. If you don't already know, Last Life is a... Um, successor of Third Life, which uh, was a hardcore series with uh, with people with members who had a certain number of lives, and that there there were rules for those lives. Like, if you were green or yellow, you could make alliances with other greens and yellows and make friends and have fun and have conflicts and chaos. But if you're red, you're pretty much against everybody, and you have to kill as many people as possible. There's also the Boogeyman, so that will come into play, but, um, yeah. The Boogeyman is an, either a yellow or a green who has to go target another yellow or green in order to be cured, otherwise they'll go red. Yeah. It's just explaining the, that to those who haven't watched the series. If you haven't, be sure you do so, because there are going to be spoilers. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Basically, the main thing I wanted to talk about is a couple of scenes um, where Impulse did some things that some people accused him of being scripted. Um, one of which was after escaping Scott, or Smajor, um, after the boogie attack, and going over to his own, while he, going over to his pit where he was making his own boogie trap, potentially. And he stood there for a long period of time. Um, yeah, long enough for Scott to come back and yeah. <laughs> it did not end well. Yeah. Pretty much a pancake after that. Yeah. <clears throat> so, how can we explain that? Well, if you think into the mind of the character, Impulse. Well, you just got attacked by the Boogeyman. You managed to escape. And you go back to your place. A safe place. Where you can recover from what just happened and try to figure out what to do you feel safe you don't expect the boogie man to come back for you you don't expect him to go back go find you and then just outright kill you you don't expect to be to, that he would be coming right behind you while you're standing on a ledge of course he didn't think about that because why would you think about that why would you think about all the possible scenarios as a character who just went through a traumatic experience of nearly dying. Um, excuse me. Of nearly dying, and yeah, like, of course he stood on cr <laughs> The life moves. Ah! Uh oh. This is fine. It's fine. <laughs> yeah, basically. The fact that he nearly died, like he was still recovering, he was not in a clear mind. <clears throat> As a quote from my other theory videos that I've done, that if you know me, you already know what I'm going to say. He was lulled into a false sense of security. And it's not the first time that's happened. <laughs> he thought he was safe. He was somewhere safe. Home. The Southland. There was no reason for him not to feel safe. 
not to feel like he would be fine, just standing on the ledge. In his mind, he would have been fine. He would have been fine if Scott hadn't come back for him. <laughs> and in another example, um, in session six, section, session seven, sorry, session seven, where Mumbo shot him off the ledge and he failed the boat clutch <sighs> because he didn't realize that the shield would uh, make it pretty much meaningless. He was also, once again, lulled into a false sense of security. As he said during the live stream, he thought he could do it. He knew he could do it. He thought he was fine. He was not fine. <laughs> yeah, in a way, it works for the character. In a way, he accidentally gave evidence to prove that, it, to me, it proves that it's not scripted. Cause that 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 generally seems genuine. That that seemed to fit for the character that he was trying to portray. <sighs> Very naive, gullible sometimes. And yeah. In some ways the character does remind me of another character like that, who often is lulled into a false sense of security. <sighs> yeah. Another thing, same session, um, when Scott um, outright finishes his whole s series, basically, in Paul's, Paul's series by shooting him, you know, yeah. In his mind, he was thinking, he was in a state where he was trying to figure out what's going on, he was being shot at, and he assumed it was the Southland, so when he saw one of the members... They gone. In a way, it was justified. It was fair. Based on what he knew. He didn't know Impulse didn't have a bow. He didn't know he had any arrows. He didn't know that he was, couldn't have possibly been shooting at him. He didn't know that. But we knew that. Which is not fair. Because you have to think like the character rather than think like the person outside the whole thing. Because that's what a lot of people are missing. They keep seeing what the whole picture, but they can't focus and didn't understand what's happening in the character's mind. Not a lot of people can do that. I'm just, I just know how to step out of my own mind and just think, imagine what the character would be feeling and what the character would be going through. Whether or not it's actually true or not, it's just interesting. <laughs> it's like, I get the situation they're going through. I get what's in their minds. I know what they're doing. I know what they're thinking. Maybe not entirely, because I can't read their minds, but I can get a picture of what is going on. And yeah, I'm totally fine with it. It does not feel scripted at all. You just gotta remember the lovely world. It's a target attacks. At the very beginning, they were scripted. But over time, they became more improv. Of course, there was, like, some sort of storyline base. But at the end of the day, it's basically just him with some friends creating some sort of attack. Like, yeah, like, this lovely world is more part scripted, part improv. While Last Life is, like, completely improv everything of course there is some planning but you don't know what's gonna happen empire is the exact same thing a lot of it is improv <laughs> people don't get that man i mean i can't blame them for accusing that some of that and yeah impulse has every right to be upset and that's okay but yeah i'm standing i know like, I already knew it wasn't scripted. I trust um, the people in the series. Trust that it's not scripted. I trust them. But that might be biased. But it just might be the fact that I just know how to find a solution to the problem. And try to think of a solution to a problem. Not sure where I'm going with that. <laughs>
Anyway, that's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I hope I at least explain to you the whole situation and understand um, at least some other characters' perspectives in the situation. Like, as for Jimmy and what happened to him, the uh, fact that he first got out twice in a row in both seasons. But to be honest, it could be just Jimmy. It could have been anyone, but it just happened to be Jimmy. It's not scripted. Just, he was unlucky. Maybe that's the character. Just unlucky. <laughs> Makes sense. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Yeah, I'll see you all in the next one.